Hey, YouTubers, it's CraftCoder here. Wanted to show off an interesting uh, new circuit I've been working on. This goes along with my uh, motorcycle power supply, and I've decided to dump the fuses in the design and go with a completely solid state uh, device that can be potted and is therefore impervious to water and weather and grime and oxidation and everything since motorcycles are a tough environment. So, what we have here is a, uh, in this case, an Arduino microcontroller just to uh, do some basic logic. And then we have a Hall Effect current sensor, which uh, measures the magnetic uh, field of the electrons moving through a coil and is able to come up with a, is able to measure the current. It's sort of like a clamp on ammeter that you might use with a uh, with a multimeter or something like that. And then this big chip here is a high side uh, MOSFET driver which I'm using to uh, turn on and off the MOSFET which is the switch and that's the MOSFET. And these two little guys here are uh, uh, op amps and I'm going to be using those because eventually the uh, I'm going to be using an ARM Cortex uh, microcontroller that runs at 3.3 volts but the uh, the current sensor runs at five, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of analog magic. But anyway, let's take a look at how it works. Right now, in software, the device is set to shut off at two amps. So let's connect the Arduino to the uh, driver, and now you can hear the cooling fan on the uh, electronic load. And I'm going to turn up the current a bit. You can see we're getting up to about an amp here. And since it's set to 2 amps, nothing happens. Now we got up to about almost 2 amps. And it hung out there for a while and decided it was too high. Again. So let's get it to 1 and 3 quarters. Now, of course, in this situation, I have it set to just automatically turn the circuit back on because uh, I'm just doing testing, so I don't want to have to reset it and turn it off and on each time. But in practice, I would set it up so that you'd have to uh, go to your phone and reset the circuit via Bluetooth in order to uh, have that circuit turn back on again. And here we're running it, again, two amps, and it just over overcurrented. Right now we're just hovering there, and eventually it's going to pop because eventually it's going to it's going to sense too much current going through there. And I do a little bit of averaging and stuff like that so that it can handle a little bit of uh, transient overcurrent without exploding. But that's all done in software, and it's, it looks like it's working pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, expand on the idea and see how it works, and I'll show you guys that as I move on.